Hello and welcome back to Hoffmiss Plays. Today we're going to be going with some scissors. So today's deck is Scissor EX and this is from Obsidian Flames. It's a metal type with two attacks. The first that does 70 damage and you take 50 damage less on your next turn. And the other one is to discard one or both of the metal energy and you do 120 damage per energy discarded this way. We've also got Baby Scissor, which will do an attack based on the number of your opponent's Pokemon that have abilities. So if they've got five Pokemon with abilities, it does 250 damage for just one Metal Energy. And we've also got Cleaver, which is a fighting type Pokemon, and that is in there so that you can do some damage on something that's weak to fighting. We've got Mew EX and Radiant Greninja for some draw. Um, we can also use Genome Hacking depending on the matchup. And then we've got a lot of supporter cards in Iono, Professor's Research, Cypher Maniacs, Code Breaking. We've got the Jamming Tower, so we are not going to be using any tools. And we've got Super Rods as well, because we're going to want to get the energy back out of the discard pile pretty quickly. We are using Beldum and Metang to accelerate the metal energy, and that's why we want as much energy in the deck as possible. We're running 13 with this deck. But let's see if it's enough. Let's get on with it. Right. Right. Gross. Okay, so we can start off with uh, some concealed cards to get going. Two jamming towers, that's pretty good. We'll play the jamming tower. Uh, we've got... We... Hmm. They're going to be doing this. I might actually give them Radiant Greninja. Now we can Ultra Ball and then Super Rod. So, yeah, we'll do that. And fetch Beldum, maybe? Yes. And then we can put all those back into the deck and end turn and see what play they've got. Mariadon in the active and Iron Crown EX on the bench, which means peak acceleration is going to be doing 60. If they can get rid of the tower and put uh, the future energy booster capsule on, it'll do 80. They can get some more Iron Crowns, obviously, that can go up uh, to an amount that will knock out Radiant Greninja. Peak Acceleration, just doing 60 there, and accelerating the energy to the Iron Crown. If they do accelerate, they do. That's grass again, so I guess we're going to see Iron Leaves. Uh, that's fun. And so is that, so let's go ahead and do that. Iono to get them down to six. They had a seven card hand, so it's actually beneficial for me to do that. Uh, we've got Buddy Poff in. Let's go get two Scythers. And we can play the Beldum as well. Uh, concealed cards. Looking for that Hyper Aroma. Uh, not getting it. Um, which is a shame. Now, they might be able to... <sighs> I'll just leave that. And we can end turn. Uh, yeah, I think Radiant Greninja's run his course now. So we'll probably see another Iron Crown onto the bench which means there's enough for them to knock out Radiant Greninja with Peak Acceleration. There we go. And there's an Ogre Pond. They're going to Teal Dance. They're getting rid of the Jamming Tower, getting Town Store, which actually allows them to then go ahead and get that Booster Capsule. And there it goes. 
it was already knocking out Radiant Greninja. It's just whether they are you going to use a boss to get Matang up. That would be pretty upsetting. That would be a knockout. That's it. It's doing 100 damage now. But it's an Iono. That kind of helps us out, although I would have liked to have got that gem tower out. Wow, three Scissor EXs. Whew. Getting rid of a Mariodon with the Earthen Vessel. Yeah, okay, so they can do the Teal Dance. They can attach. They, they've got another Ogre Pond. Wow. All right. Lots of dancing going on. Got the moves. And there's a prime catcher. Okay, so I think Matang's going. Oh no, the Scyther. And then they're going to retreat into... No, they're just going to... Oh, wow. 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 And get rid of the side. No. Yeesh. I hit the mic. All right, so the thing is here that what they should have done is got rid of my tank because that's how I accelerate the energy. I can still do that. Um, yes, I, they got rid of Scyther and it had energy on it, but it doesn't really matter. Definitely doesn't really matter. Um, town store's slightly annoying, but we have got... I've got Metal Maker! Yay! There's one. And one, two, three, four, five. Actually. Yeah. Alright, we're going to do this because I don't like to risk things, but we are going to Ultra Ball away. Cleaver and Scissor EX. And we're going to get... So we know that that's there. That's good. Okay. I'm going to get the other Matang because I want to have that energy acceleration ability um, for next turn. So we can now get no energy. But we can go ahead and knock out Iron Leaves. Which is fine. What we're going to see from these prizes? Meh, meh. All right. So we've got two Matangs. We've got a Scissor X. Got no way of getting the other Scissor at the moment. Dancing for energy. I've got no energy on mine which is really good against the Ogre Pond because it is based on the amount of energy on both active Pokemon. Um, plus I have a resistance to grass type, so they're already doing 30 less. They're getting rid of some cards in order to go and fetch what's from their discard pile, so there goes some grass energy. That one is just doing 90 damage because of the resistance. Got a Beldum, that's useless. Uh, right, let's go and Metal Maker. Nothing. <sighs> Not good. Metal Maker again. One. Phew. And that's the one that we need. How much have we got in here? Four, six. So we've got still seven in the deck or, or the prizes. We're going to knock this out and hope that we're going to get enough energy on our next turn to do another knockout. That's the plan. 
Well, we got prizes. Counter capture from Professor's Research. Professor's Research, perfect, because I don't care about any of these. Counter catches offline. Buddy Buddy Poffin can't use. Beldum can't bench. If we lose this, then we're in trouble. We've got three, so we're going to be doing 160 with Scizor. So probably not even worth trying to find that. There's Mew on the bench. So that's now we're up to it doing 260. So actually now it is quite useful. They're going to boss up Matang. All right, they've they've learned. They can knock that out. Unless they don't attach energy to it, to this. Did they, did they just attach energy from hand to... Okay, right, they're, yeah, they're, okay. That's interesting. So they put up a two prize card when they could have knocked out Matang with a single prize. They knock out Matang, then they haven't knocked out Matang. Right. W what? Okay. Metal Maker. One. Let's put you there. Metal Maker. Now, if you give me two, I'd be really happy. But you give me zero, so I'm not happy. Um, yeah, do that. Professor's research those away. Oh, okay. Six energy. Let's... Let's get all of you back in. Um, don't think I need any of those. All right, there's Scizor. Yep. Let's just leave it there. Hmm. All right, Teal Dance to get some more energy onto there. They've got four cards in hand. They're going for the town store to get another tool, Bravery Charm, on the other Ogre Pond, I'm assuming. Yep. And they're getting some more energy onto that teal, teal mask ogre pond. So the thing here is that they can get a knockout. Are oh, they going to use Iono? I go down to two cards. One of them's an energy. And they're switching out for... Oh, okay, okay. Smart. They get rid of that Matang. Cool. So, at this stage... Oh, I mean, I've got an I know. How annoying. Um... I might as well use that. Got nothing else in my hand that's any use, so maybe one of these two is good. No, they're not. Uh, we can use Metal Maker, see if we can get something on to. No, we can't. Uh, and then just the one for a knockout on Maraidon. Oh, I get him a tang. Useless. 
All right. So, what we got left? Two energy in the discard, and two, which means we've got nine in total in the deck. Iono coming in, going down to one card, and it's an energy. That's bad news. I don't think they've got what they can to knock me out, even with, even with Iron Leaves. Iron Leaves is going to be doing 240, maybe 260. But it's just not enough. All right. GG's, that's the game. Oh, it's not. It's not the game. I forgot about the bravery mask. No. But it still is the game. I mean, they they need four prize cards. They could knock out Scissor X using Iron Leaves, which I know they've got in hand. But actually, that just makes that just makes my my scissor that much more powerful. Okay, they're researching away the iron leaves. Okay, okay, okay. This is yeah, okay, they scoop. GG's! Alright. Two mulligans. That is horrendous. And the wrong beldum in the active. That's also pretty unfortunate. Pick a number. The number is two. There we go. You did it. Okay, click done, click done, click done, click done. Okay, and surprise, surprise, it is Teal Mask Ogre Pon that we are facing, and... Can they get an attack? Oh, are they playing the Festival Grounds? Possibly. Not a great start. Not not a wonderful hand to see. Um, there's a Grookey. Grookey, Aplin, and Teal Mask Ogapon. So this will be Festival Grounds. This will be Festival Grounds, which means that Diplin will be able to do quite a lot of damage and then have another turn if they get festival rounds out. They're filling up their bench using Clavel. Um, Thwacky allows them to go and get a card, I think, as long as festival grounds is in play. That's the stadium, um, which prevents something, prevents special conditions on both active Pokemon. I think that's what it is. But the actual effect of the stadium doesn't really matter. It's more to do with their uh, Pokemon and their abilities. And oh my goodness me, this is the worst hand I've ever seen. Right, let's Iono straight away and give me something good. Uh, that's okay. Um... I think we'll have to retreat into Scyther um, and do that and oh boy I needed I needed I needed it before oh boy um, kind of end turn and hope and pray that nothing bad happens here They've got seven cards. It's going to be. They're going to have Festival Grounds. They're going to be able to do the attack twice. They're going to be able to knock things out. And there it is. Festival Grounds. Yeah. No special conditions. There's Diplin. So they can put an, one energy on that. And the game's over. The game is over. All they need is an energy on Diplin. And then they can retreat Ogre Pond. Okay, they're doing that bit first. Place an energy on there. And then do the wave. Knock outside there. 
And then they do it again. Festival lead allows you to do the wave. Oh! I mean, I say it, I say it like it's... Oh, for God's sake. Really? Really? Breathe, 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 breathe. Breathe. All right, they got Thwacky, they can go and get a card. It can be whatever they want. Oh, you may search your deck for a card and put it in your hand. Oh, if the... Ah, I see, I see, I understand. I didn't understand, but now I understand. Um, sure, let's do Metal Maker. And... Um, and I, I think... I will... Hmm... Yeah, no, no, yeah, yeah, no, yeah, no. I'll end turn. This is making it so much more difficult than it needs to be. So they need to... Is that a two? Okay. <gasps> oh, uh, really? What? What is going on, man? All right. Metal Maker, please. Oh, it's a no. It's a no. Ay, sheesh. Um, do we want the EX? That's only got one, two, three. Um, yeah, let's... I'm going to get one of you, and I'm going to get two of you. I'm going to do that. And I'm going to attach. And I'm going to... Yeah, I'm going to end turn. I'm going to keep the super rod because I'll probably knock this out. And then I'm going to be upset. 80 is really annoying as well, though. 70 is a much nicer number for me. 40 is even better. Kieran. Okay, so they're going to swap out. Yeah. And then they're going to do, they're going to knock this out and then they're going to do some more damage to this. 70 damage. They can obviously go and get a card because that ability requires the active Pokemon to have the festival lead. Festival lead is based on the festival grounds. It all works together well. Actually, it's a really interesting deck and it's something probably that I'll build and play with soon. Um, I just haven't got around to it. It's a really frustrating deck to play against. I'm not so keen on having Ogapon in the deck, though. So they can do 70 damage. Um, I need to get some basics. I need a Buddy Poffin would be great. Uh, yep, yeah. yep, yep, yep. Ultra... Bald super rod. Let's get the Scyther, that, and the Beldum, probably. Um, probably should Ultra Ball these two and get a either hmm or do I get Radiant Greninja for draw no let's get Scyther let's be let's be sensible and safe and well maybe not sensible um a bit stupid uh yes that was wrong. That was wrong. Why did I do that? Anyway, 
just need to get rid of one of these. And then get a prize. Still behind. That's an energy. Play the energy onto this one next, I suppose. Depends who's coming up. Probably. I don't know, actually. Who do you play? Because if you play Aplin and you don't get Diplin, then I'll just knock it out. Whereas if you play anything else, you're going to need to retreat. Okay, so they played Aplin. They've got nine cards in hand. It's phenomenal. There's Diplin and an energy, which means they can do 140, which is a knockout on the next turn. There's Jacques for a couple of thwackies, so they can go and fetch the cards they need. Yeah, yeah. There's the energy onto Diplin. Maximum belt. Whew. That's going to do a lot more damage. Which will knock that out. I definitely misplayed with that third energy. Should have put it on the benched side there, because at least then I would have been able to attack on this turn. Which I'm not going to be able to do. Yep, yeah, they're getting all the cards they need. Oh. Teal Dance. Yeah. So, gonna be doing 240 damage. Yes. Yeah. There it goes. Oh, horrible. Okay. Well played. Not by me. But well played. Okay, so what can we do here? Top deck and energy. Yes, well done me. And turn. Now they'll have probably gone and got Diplin. Iona would have been a much better card to get at that point. But yeah, they've probably gone and got Diplin. And an energy. They're going to go and get some more cards. We'll play it out. We'll probably fast forward this bit. Wow. Perfect. All right, here we go. This is quite a good start. We're going first. Uh, we've got Scyther in the active and we're against a Guardi deck. Oh, that's quite a nice start as well. Um, I'm going to get you and you, and I'm going to attach to the benched Scyther and end turn. So, they're playing Arvin, getting Buddy Poffin and Devo. Buddy Poffin coming in. But they didn't have Evo. Maybe they've already got Evo. Evo in hand, I'm guessing. So three routes are out at the moment. There's the Evo. And the energy attach. So we're going to see two Curliers. Uh, straight away. All right. Okay, what do we got? Top deck. Boss. Useless. Uh, we can attach and play Iono. Uh, jamming tower is gonna be quite effective, but I don't wanna play it yet. So we're just going to retreat and play Steel Wing. 
And that will give us a knockout. Get another Iono. Now, Curlia is weak to metal. Got a couple of refinements to go. There's second energy in the discard pile. There's a mimic you. Okay. So, and a, a, a guardy. Heavy ball failed. So we could. Oh, there's Iono. Go those jamming towers, but at least the energy is going back into the deck. We've got Matang. We've got the baby scissor. Oh, beautiful. Beautiful. So we can take Mimikyu out with the baby scissor. We were doing 160 damage. That's if they go ahead and leave it in the active. And they can even do 70 damage onto Scissor using it. We've got Boss though. And Fluttermane. Okay. There's energy from hand. All right. Now, obviously, Mimikyu is 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 going to bypass the protection from Steel Wing because it's doing damage counters, not doing damage. Yeah. And there's the Ghost Eye. All right. And an energy, okay. So, I wonder whether we should... Boss up Curly at this point, because you're weak to dark, not steel. So let's do that. Mm -hmm. Yeah, let's play you onto there, and then we'll steel wing, get rid of that refinement engine. There's another metang, that's a good draw. What do we got? Four energy. Routes, routes, curlier. Okay. Nest ball, what we've got coming in? Radiant Greninja. Okay, so that's going to be getting the energy into the discard. That's number five. All right. Drifloon is going to be doing well if they get the Bravery Charm, but then we've also got the Jamming Tower, which could take it out as well. Hmm. And Iono, there goes Matang, but we might get something better. Not really. I know, we can buddy puff in and we can Professor's Research for sure. They're going to buddy puff in, get one Ralts. And what next? Doing 210 with scissor. Okay, they're going to counter catch a, a Beldum. And play Screamtail. Now, Screamtail can do damage to the bench. Okay. So.
So, we've got the knockout on Mimikyu. We can... Let's go ahead and get a couple of those up. Scream, Scream Tail is going to be horrendous though. Um, okay. Not Metang, Scissor. We've got Boss's orders as well. Hmm. Let's just try metal making because I want to spread that energy if we can. No, we can't. Brilliant. All right. Um, yeah, let's do punishing scissors for 420 on Mimikyu. Unfortunately, we didn't get jamming tower. Jamming tower is what I really want to get. Because... I mean, we could see Screamtail doing some damage onto the bench. Oh yeah, yeah. Scissors doing some pretty good damage as well at the moment. Yeah, his Screamtail. Now currently they can get it doing 160 damage. If they put a Bravery Charm on it, they can get it doing even more. Um, and that's what I think Arvin's going to be doing, is getting that Bravery Charm to put on Screamtail. Nope, it's not. I lied. Okay, so they could they could do Devolution to knock this out. That's only one prize card. Yeah, okay. They're going to Super Rod. Mimikyu's coming back. Alright. Psychic Embrace. We're going to see some energy going onto Screamtail. Very slowly. So it can do 160 to... to it can knock out is there for 160? Nope. It's only going to be doing 120, so it's going to be going for Beldum or Scyther. Or Metang. Fair enough. Pretty good choice, I would say. Okay, we can load these guys up. Um, and I'm going to keep everything that I've got in hand, I think. Yeah. Let's go ahead, Metal Maker. Just the one. We can put it here. Play one from hand here and then just go for punishing scissors for the knockout now they do have the devo in hand so they can use that in order to get the knockout on the damaged scissor ex uh, flattermain can do 90 plus 20 to the bench But it's not going to knock out Scissor. They got Iono. There goes the boss. Cyphermaniac. Okay, that could be that could be pretty useful. And we got a. Basic energy, so here's Psyching Embrace. So they're going to be doing 90. So not knocking out Scissor. And then doing 20 to the bench. Okay. 
Here we go. There's the 90. And where's the two damage counters? They can put it on different Pokemon if they want. There's one on Matang. And another one on Matang. Okay. So no prize cards there. It's interesting. What have we got in here? No energy in three Pokemon. Don't care about that. I think... I will... Play that. Uh, I'm going to Cypher Maniac. I'm just going to put bosses next. And after that... I don't know. Cleaver will do. Um, and then we'll Punishing Scissors. Oh, we just got one prize card to get. They've got four. They can't do it on this turn, and my next card is boss. Alright, so they're playing Guardi. Big, tanky card that I'm not going to knock out with Scissor. Or Scissor EX. They can knock out Scissor with Guardi. They just have to take a little bit of damage. They can refinement here. Enhanced Hammer. Oh, they got eight energy. Monkey Dory, but no damage at the moment. They could put damage on with Monkey Dory. It's only going to do 30, so not enough to knock anything out. I think I smell the end in sight. I see the end. In oh, there's an Iono down to one card. What are we getting? The boss. The one I wanted. Which means I'll also get Cleaver. Which is fun. So. What's going to happen? Please tell me. Put me out of my misery. My neck's getting stiff. Psychic Embrace. Yep. Yeah. There's one, and another, and another. They can use Monkey Dory to get rid of 30 of that. Yep. Where are we going to see that go? I can't imagine it's going to go on Scissor unless they're going to counter catch or something. Okay, on to the undamaged Scissor EX. And then there's the knockout. Alright. GG's. That's it, we got it. Play the boss. Take you for doing damage to me. And we'll cross breaker. And that's the game. So this is the deck I was playing. It was a lot of fun to play, but what I didn't like about it is it was just too easy to brick. The amount of mulligans that I played in the games that I didn't show you was just ridiculous. And I mulliganed on the ones that I did show you. So you can just see how many times that's going to happen if you play this in the wild. Now, there is a lot that you could probably do with this. I pinched most of this from Little Dark Fury, made a few changes myself. Uh, but it's just a bit too clunky for me. I think that the fact that you can do the damage quite quickly is good, but you've got a lot of weak spots. Uh, those being that you've got low HP uh, supporting Pokemon in the Metang. It's only 100 HP, and you kind of need those for that energy acceleration. So it's over to you. Give this deck a try. You can tweak it and let me know how you get on in the comments. Remember to like and subscribe if you're new. Go and check out the videos where me and Tom are opening Twilight Masquerade boosters. We've got a giveaway with currently four cards in and growing. Make sure you get yourself an entry into that. And until next time, I'll see you.